Hi everybody! Today I'm gonna be talking a bit about a uh, console meter and how to use it, what you can do with it. But before I do that, let me tell you um, things about um, updates and, and bug findings. So, um, someone wrote uh, here, uh, DSR makes strange clicks if turning knobs when playing audio. Um, I couldn't reproduce that, but um, I think I might have found what the problem was and um, solved it. So um, you can update and the DSR will update, but I think you won't notice. In the forums, someone um, wrote, um, I still get bad GUI on the guitar amp version 1.03 plugin. Um, I've uninstalled, reinstalled, still bad GUI. Um, I asked for uh, more information about this. Uh, and he says, oh, Mac OS uh, and uh, one computer and things like that. Um, I couldn't reproduce this bad GUI issue. The only way I found it will happen is if you have an empty project and you insert the guitar amp on the master, then it will still give you this picture. And I can't solve this issue because um, the plugins aren't uh, calculated correctly if you have no tracks. While at all, I can't understand why you would do such a thing. You have no sound, you're not sending anything into the master, but you want to have the guitar amp. Um, that doesn't make some sense to me. As soon as I add a track, the plugin is doing as intended. So if you're trying the plugins, try them at least with one track. Now this person um, also wrote, it appears as soon as I add the plugin to a guitar DI track. So there seems to be a track and um, if someone also can reproduce this issue with a track in Reaper, please let me know what you're doing so I can reproduce this and uh, solve the problem. But now let's get to the console emitter plugin. Let's briefly repeat what I said in the last video for all those who didn't see it. Um, if you install console meter, you have two plugins and one plugin is of course console meter itself. It looks like this and it always tries to fit in the, um, in the space you give it. So um, I put that uh, on top of the screen and here we see um, 16 meters and um, how many meters you see, you can adjust um, in the channels section. So you can from 8, 12, 16 and 24 channels um, choose what you want to have there. And you can put them in two rows so they will get bigger. But for explanation, we take 12 channels in one row And now the second plugin you will need is called C meter send. And it looks like this. And here you can choose the um, meter you wish to send the level to. Um, so um, the level from this plugin slot will be sent to meter one in this case. Let me put that before some channels so we have filled input metering. Now I chose to uh, put the C meter send on the um, track of the kick drum. So if I um, play back the kick drum, you'll see uh, this meter here moving. I think life's not been too amazing. Maybe and so you don't forget what you send in here. You can right click the meter and rename it and this case I put kick in here, click somewhere else and now it's called kick. If that is too small for you, um, you can resize it uh, by scrolling so you can always see what's going on there. You can also give this meter a color by just clicking on one of these colors. So right click and give it a color and now a circle appears. And if you want to color multiple tracks, so let's say bass drum, snare, snare bottom, 
uh, floor tom and overhead. I can click the first um, meter um, I want to have in that range and the last meter. So you see all those meters are um, now selected. Right click, give it a color, and all those meters are getting a color. Of course, you can um, choose ranges from any meter to any else meter, uh, from left to right, from right to left, uh, and repeat that to your wishes. The next item in the um, menu is um, stereo. Um, so you now have a monometer. Um, I take a tone generator and I turn that on. And you see uh, the needle moves to zero. Um, and if I modify that, so um, left and right channel are not identical. You see um, it drops a bit because um, the level of the um, two outputs of the tone generator is now lower in mono mode. And if I now choose stereo, I get two needles. The left channel is the black needle and the right channel is the red needle. By the way, for this feature, you need to uh, update the plugin um, because uh, there was a little issue. I had to modify the code a bit um, for that stereo thing to work. So what we just saw is if we output minus 20 dBFS, it will show zero in the meter. And what it shows there is depending on the um, calibration. So you have a calibration uh, in steps of 6 dB. Um, so if I put that to zero, you see the needle drops to uh, minus 20. And if I recalibrate that um, somewhere else, um, the needle goes higher and higher and higher. And uh, we have this calibration, and we have a fine calibration uh, in steps of 1 dB, so you can um, adjust the calibration from 0 dBFS to um, let's say 24 to minus 30 dB in steps of 1 dB. The next submenu is about the meter speed. So you can have um, fast moving needles, regular moving needles, or slow moving needles. And now for showing you um, these uh, submenu visuals, um, I prepared um, that all of the 12 meters um, are fed by some channel with the uh, C meter scent. And then it can look like this. I think life's not been too amazing. Maybe we can easily go through it, baby. Maybe we can get it. And what we could see is that the rhythm guitar track um, was on a very high level all the time. That, of course, depends on the um, internal calibration of the um, console meter plugin. See again. I think life's not been too amazing. And this may be um, because uh, you're tracking guitars uh, at higher levels, because they don't have so much dynamics from the lowest level to the highest level. So you always can track them at a high level, uh, while drums uh, might have uh, much more dynamics. So um, different instruments or um, signal types can need a different calibration on the meter. So you can recalibrate the channel itself, oops, that's seven, we need eight here. So um, I can say, okay, um, recalibrate this plus six, and now the um, rhythm guitar will not be at uh, in the red values. I think life's not been too amazing. Maybe we can easily go through it, baby. Maybe you should find a habit for yourself um, how to calibrate these um, different kinds of signals um, to not get confused when you have recalibrated meter sense. So, okay, that was the recalibration feature. 
Um, let's give the channel some uh, colors. So drums are red, bass is blue, and guitars are dark blue, and the vocals are green. Um, as I told you, uh, you can change the um, text. Uh, what's uh, mouse crawling? And now we have this um, sub menu um, visuals where you can switch on and off the color coding circles. And you can switch off the channel names so you only get the numbers here. You can also um, switch off the numbers so you don't have any orientation at all. Um, and only give it names or uh, of course only give it the color codes, uh, whatever you wish. So that's that. And there's another submenu in the submenu. And this is about the worn LEDs. So you see the LEDs um, here in the meter. And these can warn you. And maybe let's first see the warn level. So um, they are not depending on the calibration. They really warn you at dBFS. So maybe while you're tracking, you want to keep some headroom um, for safety. Uh, you would choose uh, minus 10 dBFS maybe. And if you hit this minus 10 dBFS mark, um, the LED will light up. Let's see if I play back if it happens. I think life's not been too amazing. Yes, here we can see it lights up. You can um, choose how long it will um, it will light up. So that was regular. Um, short is just a short blinking, and long uh, is about a second. And if this item here is checked, the worn LED will stay red if you hit the um, zero dBFS. You can reset that by simply clicking on the plugin. And of course, you can also um, switch off the LEDs, so they're not shown. And now you just have plain meters, um, but I would consider uh, using the names and maybe the channel numbers. So now we always had this um, window here, this plugin window at the top um, of the screen uh, floating. So uh, what, this is what we call a floating window. Um, if you want to have it uh, stuck right there, you can close that and um, the console meter is in the master um, effects section. Um, so I can open this master effects uh, window, right click here and say dock window in Docker. And now it will always be in the Docker. So that's it for today. I hope you have fun with the plugins and bye bye.